Hey, hello everybody and welcome to another Arkham Horror List video. Today we are finishing up the series of three investigators and our favorite X. We started with assets, we did events, and now we're on to skills. Skill cards and investigators. Bryn, why don't you start with your number three? All right, so I've got Vicious Blow and Zoe Samaras. Although Zoe could feasibly be any blue investigator in the game, she's the pick here because her star effect is also Vicious Blow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Vicious Blow is probably the single skill card that I've played the most with since the beginning of the game. And, uh, you know, it still just, it does its job. You throw it at a guy, and you get to pull the trigger harder, and he gets shot more? I don't know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you just really Either. sink. Yeah. You really get that bullet in deep. You just get to do more damage. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of a lot of enemies that seem particularly daunting until your first attack does four or five damage to them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sick. Sick. Yeah. All right. My number three is going to be Amanda Sharp and Perception Level 2. So, you know, I'll just tell you right now on the back end for what we see with this video... Uh, d skills, they're pretty ubiquitous. They go from per they go from investigator to investigators. We're about to see with some of the, the things we have coming up here. But I, I'm the skill guy. It's If we had to point to what each one of us loves here uh, for Arkham Horror the Card Game, mine is skills. It's also no coincidence that like my new like favorite three investigators are going to be in on this list of order from three, two, and one. Uh, and Amanda Sharp, it could be deduction here because a, a deduction on Amanda Sharp is also really fun. But uh, Amanda Sharp and uh, Perception Level 3 is just like more often than not like six cards on your turn, which is just like so juicy. Uh, Am Amanda's pretty fun because she can do these kind of like bonkers things with the skills and like her the two book isn't really her two book so like with perception you have five but you probably have dr milan in play assuming you have him and you're not playing with like probably like uh with, with uh someone else you have your magnifying glass maybe a tarot card so now suddenly this five that you're looking at with perception level two is now eight and then you just investigate three times and draw six cards in the process and then you look at your whole hand and you're like what kind of stuff am I going to do next turn? It's uh, really fun with Amanda. And uh, I'm excited to just play around with her more and experiment with her more. I found this sick Amanda Sharp Red Gloved Man deck, which I'm also really excited to explore with. Uh, so That's neat. This is just like the beginning of the Amanda Sharp uh, relationship I'm having with her uh, for in terms of figuring out what kind of fun stuff I can do with her. And I'm excited for the next skill-based investigator. It's going to be a good time. Travis, what's your number three? Uh, my number three is Mandy Thompson and Deduction. Mandy Thompson really could have been a yellow investigator, but she has five books, so that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as well, she has better... She has a good time finding Deduction. Um, deduction is probably my most played skill. You know, commits for book, and you get an extra clue. It's just just good yeah we have a it's just good up, up on our docket coming up uh for recording uh we have a our tier list for all skills and i'm excited for deduction to go right to the top <laughs> <laughs> yeah sky high baby yeah it, it's a it's a sick freaking card man all right Bryn, what's your number two my number two is Seal of the Elder, Elder Sign with William Yorick. Now you're all probably thinking, William Yorick can't take Seal of the Elder Sign. It's not possible. And you're absolutely right. Uh, but the part about Seal of the Elder Sign I like is not the part where I'm the one playing it, but the part <laughs> where Travis is like, this needs to happen, go do the thing. And I'm like, Travis, I'm two to three. I think I can't, I can't make that better. 
it doesn't get better from here. Yeah. And he's like, no, but just do it anyway. And I'm like, well, I could kill these guys instead. He's like, no, do the thing. And I go and do the thing. And I'm like, cool, two to three. And he's just like, yeah, seal of the elder sign. You're, you're good. Mm-hmm. And it uh, did get better. Yeah, and like everything does get better. Uh, you know? I find the reason I picked Will is because his star effect is kind of really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but also I play him a lot. Yeah. Um. Uh, I yeah, like it pretty as much. well whenever Travis uses Seal of the Elder Sign on one of your tests because then you know just like, <laughs> you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> Travis wouldn't just throw this away for nothing. <laughs> like, this is yeah, a... Yeah, it needed to happen. Yeah. Right now, I'm MVP. <laughs> yep. I'm the guy. Yep. It's me. The guy. <laughs> so sick. All right. Uh, my number two is minty fan and true understanding uh true understanding uh, is a card that usually in a good chunk of my yellow decks is kind of like if if i have high enough book to start with like if i'm like a harvey walters like if i have a five uh, or like an um <clears throat> or like a norman withers this usually like is a good like starting card i just put it in as one of like my 27th 28th card or like my 29th and my 30th. And just because it like it, it, it'll do something. It'll turn a treachery test into you getting a clue while it's happening. Um, but in Min, it's really nice. Min's ability, if you don't know it off the top of your head, is uh, once per turn or once per round, you can, when you commit a card to a test, you can give it a wild symbol and each investigator can do that once. So now your true understanding is committed for an unexpected courage which means when you're now testing against like a rotting remains, you have six to the game's three, and odds are you're going to be able to grab a clue out of that. This, of course, does require a lot of maintenance to like, you know, you have to be on the location with a clue, but you're a seeker. You're going to be there anyway. Um, and like with these kind of things, like there's a lot of like boring stuff you can do with like s- skills and just like, yeah, like, you know make something better like something good even better but sometimes i like my favorite things about the skill-based investigators and like stuff like min is now suddenly how true understanding is really good or um like when she just makes glimmer of hopes even that much nicer they're now just unexpected courages <clears throat> and it's just like the small little things that you can tweak with change with the cards and it's what's really fun about min and then just making true understanding just like you pass a treachery test and then at the same time you flip off the game as you pick a clue up of your location. It just feels nice. It just feels nice. Sick. Travis, what is your number two? Oh, it's Mandy Thompson with Eye of Truth. Um, so, Eye of Truth is a really, really good skill card commits for four and uh four if you play on the right uh treachery card you get plus four to that test forever everyone gets plus four to that test forever mm-hmm. um the big reason that mandy thompson is the is is the investigator here is because she can use practice makes perfect to dig this up um very easily or she can use it to dig up this and something else mm-hmm. which is pretty <laughs> sick where you're just like i'll get plus four and then i'll take my deduction please yep um, it's a really good feeling, especially if you plop this on, like, even if it's something you could reasonably draw yourself, like a Rhyme Remains, and then your rogue player also draws a Rhyme Remains, and they're like, oh no, I'm gonna die. And you're like, don't forget, you have five. And yeah. you're like, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah. my, my brain just five uppled. Yeah. yeah, you can see that this isn't scary at all, don't worry about it. And they're like, no, you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just really, really... It, it's what, like, a five experience skill should feel like, you know? Yeah. There's, like... It doesn't just, like, let you pass a test. It lets you pass all the tests. Man, the the truth... I love this, like, with the idea with Amanda Sharp and I have truth. You just at the start of your turn, just baller. You're like, I'm going to be for sure get a treachery card next turn. So then you get three plus fours, and then you put on a treachery card. Just don't whiff. Don't whiff. It'll be embarrassing, and everyone will laugh at you. They're yeah. not going to laugh at you. <laughs> yeah, I have truth also was close to mine, but I figured one of you, that you would take it, Travis. So I 
didn't put that one on because I also love Eye of Truth. Cool as hell skill. So cool. I know you like it. It is good. All right, Bryn, what's your number one? <laughs> I've also got the Eye of Truth. <laughs> uh, and when oh, happened, oh. and you're probably thinking, again, <laughs> Bryn, are you stupid? This investigator also can't take this card. And it's like, again, 100%, you are correct. Mm -hmm. uh, although that being said, I don't really play the game with skills very much. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm more of a crystallizer of dreams, man. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Winifred's here because she's a rogue with one brain and also frozen in fear is not an investigator card. <laughs> and that is possibly my favorite pairing in the game. <laughs> is the eye of truth and frozen in fear i have spent many games being like well i've got a frozen in fear and if i draw another one i'm just like i don't do anything yeah like i can never get rid of them like how does it feel to like it's it's a scary how does it feel just like always there as a rogue it's just always like the biggest yeah. fear frozen in fear you just i mean like you just try not to think about it yeah um and sometimes it shows up, and you're like, it's okay, because maybe I've got a Leo in play, and I can just play my my turn like a normal peasant, yeah. <laughs> taking three actions a turn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah one of my favorites was yeah, the, you being the second one is brutal. As, a, as a Yithian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sucked. Sick. All yeah. right. My number one, chat, you should all know by now that it is Silas Marsh. Let's not kid. But what skill do you think it is? Let's find out. Opportune is level two. Now you might be saying, hey, Justin, what about Unrelenting? That card's busted in Silas. Yeah, it no. is. But it's kind of boring, isn't it? Just like drawing cards every turn in a way that like, if you played it properly to get the actual math out of the token bag is like super slow. It's, like, great for Silas, but I don't enjoy playing with it. I play with it because it's the wrong choice to not use it. However, Opportunist Level 2 is really fun with Silas because it's, like, basically more of his ability. So you commit them to a test, and then you pass by two, and then you just get them back. And if you fail and you only had one committed, it's like you can just pull it back with your security net on your ability and it's just essentially later in the game you now have opportunist on all of your skills that you do and it's especially great when you use this harpoon because now you always have something that's active for it in addition it's really nice because silas has an absolutely bonkers freaking um elder sign ability and opportunist means that it comes back on any test that you draw it on so if you're doing a brain book foot or fist test and you draw the Elder Sign, it's not one of those awkward things where you look through your discard pile and you're like, I don't have anything. And that's why Wild Icons especially are so good with Silas, because if your Elder Sign goes off, you want to be sure that you're putting something back into your hand. Uh, and Opportunist always does that, and it's basically just like the inverse of his ability, and it's really fun to play with him, and not like just boring, busted, like Unrelenting is. And I'm sure... Travis and Bryn would much rather me just play this as opposed to unrelenting every turn with Silas when I play him again. Saying only every turn is kind of generous. It's like multiple times every turn. It is true. Yes, it is true. <laughs> All right. Travis, why don't you take us home with yeah. your number one? Can you guys guess what it is? Wow, look, it's Mandy Thompson in deduction level two. Uh, Mandy Thompson is, once again, the, it didn't matter what Vesker it was, but she does do everything the best, so here she is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Duction level 2 gets me an extra clue, as long as I succeed by enough, and how can I not with plus 2. Yeah. It's still practiced, so you can still get off practice, makes perfect. Um, you know, I don't feel like there's too much to say about this card that hasn't already been said, but it is... Like, even the upgrade version is still probably one of my most played with cards. Yeah. Honestly, so. uh, chat, just go to the Travis's number three and listen to it twice, and then you got deduction level two. <laughs> yeah, but any time I say, like, one extra, you say two extra. Yeah. 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 Great Sick card. card. Great card. Sick card. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. 
uh, our top three investigator and skill pairs. Uh, we'll be back next week with another exciting list video. If you have any suggestions for list videos, please let us know in the comments down below. Uh, especially if you want to see anything that's like regarding specific investigators or like our lists regarding investigators or flavorful lists. If you want to see us to revisit any lists that we visited in the past, definitely let us know. Huge thank you to all of our lovely patrons who are just over there. Uh, if you want to support the channel, consider going to the Patreon link down in the description. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next Thursday for another list video and tomorrow for another Arkham video. And then every day after that, more Arkham content's coming your way. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.